In today's video, I'll show you how to set up a free contact form where if a visitor submits a response like this, the data then shows up in your dashboard like this because it is stored in your WordPress database. And then you can export data into a sheet like this. Some form plugins have this feature for free and in others you have to pay for it. So today we'll use a free plugin for this. So I'm gonna go to plugins, then add new, then search for a plugin called Ninja Forms. Now, before I show you how to use this plugin to save your contact form data to your database, you need to know that any contact form plugin has the potential to slow down your site, which then hurts your conversion rates and SEO as well. So we need to first make sure that your site is not in danger of getting slowed down. It's gonna take just a few seconds. Open another tab and type Google PageSpeed. Now, here click on PageSpeed Insights. This is a free page by Google to check if your website is loading too slowly and driving away visitors. So now let's go back to our website, copy the URL and come back and paste it here. Then click analyze. Now you can see that this site score is quite low because a decent score looks like this. It's in the 90s and the other numbers are also green, not red. This is normal because as we add more content, plugins and other things, our site slows down. But don't worry, we can just install a free speed plugin to keep our site fast no matter what we add to it. So we will go to another tab and type airlift.net. By the way, yes, that is my face because my team's built this, but don't worry, it is a 100% free plugin and we've built successful plugins before, so you can trust when I say that this is the best free speed increaser in the market. So click sign up, then add your email. Now paste your website URL here and click here. Now download the plugin by clicking here. You can see a zip file has been downloaded. Then go back to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, then add new, then drag and drop the folder. Install the plugin and then activate it. Now your site is automatically being optimized. And here you can see a big jump has happened in your site speed. If you go back to page speed insights and then click analyze again, you'll now see an improved score. Now that we have peace of mind that our site won't be slowing down, let's come back to our WordPress dashboard. You'll see a ninja forms button here. So click on that and then you'll see a default form. Click on this settings gear, then click delete. Then click add new to create a new form. Now you can see many templates, but for now I'll go and select a simple contact form. Now on the right side, you can see all the fields that you can add to a contact form. So I'm gonna drag and drop some of them here. And when you're finished, just click done, then click publish. Now we're back in our dashboard. Go to pages, create a new page. Now click here to open this panel. Search for Ninja Forms and you'll see the form we've created. Click on it, then go here, and from the drop-down menu, select your form. Then go up and click Publish, and click here to view the page. Now, I'm gonna enter some details in this form, and once I'm done, I am going to submit it. Okay, now let's come back to our dashboard. Go to Ninja Forms, then click on Submissions, then select the form, and there, you can see your responses are here. As more people will submit responses, this area will fill up like this. Now you can see the fields we added in the form here and the responses for each field here. You can also filter submissions in different ways and search for particular entries here. Now all this data has been stored in your database. If you want to export this data, go down and click here and your file will be downloaded. Let's open it and it looks like this. Here's the next video I thought you should watch after this.